I recently moved into my own apartment and new furniture is expensive. So I've been trying to DIY most of the things in my apartment. And today I have a West Elm dupe for you. I'm going to try and take these two dirty swivel rockers and turn them into a pair of $1,400 West Elm chairs. If you wanna see if I was successful and what I did, just keep watching. If we're just meeting, my name is Clara and I like to refinish old furniture and do DIY projects. Sometimes I keep the things and sometimes I sell them. And I've made thousands of dollars selling old furniture and specifically old chairs. So if you wanna see some more like in-depth tutorials and videos about how you could flip chairs and sell them for $200 profit, I'm gonna include a playlist down below of all the chair flips that I have done and I've made a lot of mistakes and I've learned a lot, so maybe you can watch them and learn along with me. One of my favorite ways to get inspiration for home design and for furniture is by going to a high-end website like Anthropology or West Elm and looking for furniture there. So often I'll just scroll and scroll looking for things and then if I find something I like, I try to find a way to DIY it. I'm a millennial. I have like a million part-time jobs. I'm just trying to get by and I don't have a budget for fancy furniture. I also enjoy saving things from the trash and doing DIY projects. So this is kind of perfect. I'm going to DIY something that otherwise probably would have gotten sent to the dump and end up with something nice for my home that isn't too expensive. I got these two chairs off offer up for $40 for the pair. So they were $20 each. They were in pretty good condition, except for that they were significantly dirty. These aren't the dirtiest chairs I've ever seen, but anytime you have white, you can really see what you're working with. So I got to work cleaning with my Bissell upholstery cleaner and vacuum. This is something that I use all the time. It's really, really wonderful. I highly recommend it. And I'll leave a link in the description where you can go check it out as well, because it can work wonders. When I finished cleaning, I decided to remove the swivel rockers. So I just went in with my Ryobi drill and I unscrewed the screws that were holding in the swivel rockers. I got these gold legs off Amazon. They were $30 for a set of four and I'll link them below if you wanna check them out. So I just laid them out and as I did, I noticed that there wasn't going to be a spot for me to drill all four holes into. And I really wanna make sure this is sturdy. So I actually ended up finding a piece of pine wood that was primed out in my dumpster behind my apartment. So my friend Mike helped me saw this into small pieces and then I was able to drill that in, reinforce it, and then drill holes into that as well as the rest of the leg base. Now I'm removing the skirt. Usually I like to just fold the skirt over and secure it under because I think it looks better. However, today I made an exception and I ripped the skirt off because I really wanted it to look similar to the West Elm chair that I'm trying to copy. So I removed the staples, I took the skirt off, 
and luckily it wasn't too discolored under where the skirt had been. I'm removing now any of the excess skirt fabric with scissors, box cutters, and securing it under with staples and Gorilla Hot Glue. The downside of ripping the skirt off is that there's this part that looks terrible, <laughs> which is where the skirt used to be. And so I decided to take a steam cleaner and this is just like a closed steam cleaner and to go over that several times until most of the crease came out. I think if you also had a small iron, that would really help. Um, but all I had was this closed steamer. So I was able to get a lot of that off of there it's not perfect, but I'm not aiming for perfect. I think it looks so much better than it did before. Before I show you the before and afters, if you could just take a second to subscribe. It's the red button. That would help me out and mean a lot to me. So thank you. So here's the inspiration. This is the Phoebe chair from West Elm. One costs around $700. So for a pair, it would be $1,400. And here's the before, the chairs I got on offer up for $20 each. And here's the after. I took these photos and videos outside because the lighting inside my apartment this morning was terrible. <laughs> so I wanted you to see how nice they look in natural light. And then I'll show you a couple photos of how they look staged inside my apartment where they will actually live. I'm sitting here editing the video and I realized I forgot to share the numbers. So here we go. Each of the chairs that I bought were $20 and I had got two sets of four legs and each of those sets were $30. So I spent $50 on each of the chairs, $100 total. Whereas if I had bought those two chairs from West Elm, it would have cost me around $1,400. So the way I see it, I saved $1,300 with this. Of course, I had to put in some elbow grease and some hard work, but worth it. I've linked everything down in the description. So if you wanna check out any of the tools or products that I used, you definitely can.